Welcome to our fifth We Pause. And I can't honestly believe we had five sessions in March. This is awesome. Thanks to all of you for showing up. And thanks to our first host, no, guest instructor, who is now a host instructor. Uh, so thanks again, uh, Arizijan, for joining. Uh, so uh, for those uh, who's, I don't think we have any new person here, but for those who might be listening to the audio of this later, uh, as you know, we are recording these uh, meetings and we are uploading them on the Ally Show as content. So those who are in the need of such meeting, they can listen to it. And if they're interested, they can join the following sessions that we'll be having. So those of you who are here, if you thought of anyone that would benefit from these uh, recordings, please feel free to share any of the episodes, any of the pre-episodes of these recordings. Today, we have uh, Arzu coming back with a very interesting topic, and I'm so excited to uh, shift our conversation with what she has for us. Uh, before that, if you don't have your pen and paper, uh, just give yourself 30 seconds to go and prepare for uh, this session. Arzu, uh, the floor is yours, and thanks everyone for joining. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Ali, for um, having me again. And the, um, we pause. I'm really excited for this session, and thanks for the inspiration for, for the topic of this session. I'll just dive right into it. Um, let me share my screen. Can you all see the slide? Yes. All right. So today, um, the a topic is let it flow. And we're going to learn how to process and release emotion with um, the technique that we're going to all do together. But let me um, talk a little bit about just the general process of emotion and what happens. So it starts with a subjective experience, and then that causes a physiological response, which is the emotion. Um, Mariam talked about emotion a lot. Uh, hopefully you um, remember her session. If not, um, I believe it's session uh, number two. Um, very interesting talk. Um, so, and then after the physical response, which is experience of emotion, we have a behavioral response based on the emotion and the feeling. And uh, the thing is, uh, because of the cultural norms and social expectations, um, sometimes this behavioral response is blocked, especially if it's like a uh, uncomfortable emotion like jealousy, fear, anger, guilt, sadness, especially, uh, you know, in workplace, if something uh, confronting comes up, um, we tend to repress or suppress these emotions because um, it's just not the right place uh, for that behavioral response. And then what happens is these unprocessed and suppressed emotion then cause uh, stock energy. And if that persists, there is like numbing and disconnecting. So if we numb uh, the uncomfortable emotion, we're numbing basically all emotions. So there is no way to like filter out certain emotions. We have to be able to feel everything. Um, and then if this uh, again persists, that it causes system imbalance, there can be negative uh, physical and psycho psychological effects. Um, so what we can do to help this process, even if uh, it happened to be, of course, the best, um, the best case is that we are freely uh, expressing an emotions at the moment. Uh, but if that didn't happen, then we have some emotional processing and release techniques that we can um, go back to what happened and the emotion and try to process and release it a little bit later. Um, there are different techniques like breath work. You can um, just use breathing. There is journaling, which is really an honest and safe place to uh, self-survey, release and process any thoughts, emotion. There is no filter. You can just go at it. Um, and then there is artistic outlet, which is drawing, painting, playing music, singing, and also movement. There can be exercise, walking, running, weightlifting, even punching pillows. It's perfect for anger, especially dancing, uh, yoga, or even some stretching. So these are all uh, techniques and activities uh, that can help with processing and releasing uh, emotions. But what is uh, what I want to also um, uh, show here is that there can be a structure to how we do this uh, to um, make it more effective, uh, which is basically choosing the activity from the list that I just shared and set aside uninterrupted time. So this is important. That is it's the time that you dedicate to that process. 
it can be like half an hour to one hour. We're going to do this for 13 minutes here together. Um, so, uh, and then the next is set up and prepare. So have everything ready so you don't have to worry about, like if it's drying, have uh, pen and paper, hopefully all of you have it ready um, or whatever activity it is, just prepare the environment and um, be ready for it. And then the next uh, step is meditate and like reflect. So it's good to get connected to the feeling. So we feel that emotion. We are, you know, we're in touch with that feeling and emotion. And then it's the process. So whatever activity we chose, we just let the emotion flow and out of flow through us and out of us. And then it's a good idea to journal about the experience. So because uh, you know there are different techniques, there are different activities. So if you are down, you can experiment with different techniques and uh, later write about your experience. It's it just helps you get to know yourself better. And these um, these experiences uh, shed a lot of light uh, on how you process the emotions. Um, so with further ado, let's uh, get to it. Um, so for this specific uh, time, I want us to reflect on an upsetting event. Um, and then we're going to, I'm going to guide you through a very short uh, meditation to get us really connected to that emotion. And then I'll have you uh, pick up your pen and paper and then um, we'll, we'll let that emotion uh, flow on the paper. Okay, so... Um, get comfortable on uh, on your seat, wherever you're sitting, and if uh, if it feels comfortable, if it feels safe, uh, you can close your eyes and just get connected with your breathing um, for a few seconds and reflect on an upsetting event in the recent past, perhaps something that uh, happened at work or at home, something that made you sad, embarrassed guilty, anxious, or worried. And try to remember as much detail as you can. And as you're reflecting on the event, welcome any emotion and feeling that's arising with it. Try not to push away um, uncomfortable emotion, but instead welcome all the emotions and just pay attention to how they feel in your body. Specifically pay attention to if there is a sensation representing that feeling. Maybe you feel uh, tightness in your chest or your throat. If at any times um, this is getting too uncomfortable, just uh, return to your breath and use uh, belly breathing to calm down your nervous system. I'll give you um, 30 more seconds to reflect on the event and get connected to the emotion. Right, now you can uh, open your eyes and grab uh, your pen and paper. I uh, will play music for you for about uh, 12 minutes um, and uh, I will check in on you. But um, try to stay away from your cognitive mind, especially uh, don't try to analyze, judge, or make sense of uh, what you're drawing. It's just keep fo focusing on the emotion and how it feels. And just let let your emotion just um, come out uh, through your hand on the paper. And just remember, at any time, if it gets uncomfortable, the idea is to be able to stay connected. So try to return to your breathing. Use belly breathing to just calm down your nervous system. But stay with the emotion as, um, as much as you can. And I am here uh, if you need me. Let me just use that. Thank you. 
we have about two, three more minutes. Um, keep, uh, feel free to keep working on your drawing or you can start journaling about your experience. And then um, we have some time to share. Feel free to keep working on your drawing after the call if you still feel like um, there's more to work through in process. But um, we have five more minutes. If you want to share about your experience, feel free to unmute yourself. You can share your drawing. If you would like, um, just hold it up in front of the camera. Um, and uh, if there's any questions, I would love to answer any comments, questions. Hi, Ernest. Hi, everyone else. Um, first of all, thank you so much. We hear you. Um, so I was saying uh, thank you so much for offering this activity. Um, I'm in the mental health field myself, um, but the fact that this is structured, um, it's really helpful. I don't put the time aside to, I mean, do these kinds of self-care for myself. For myself even though i love drawing and i'm into arts and all that but um thank you the structured aspect of it is really really important and helpful and then i'm going to go over what i did here so this is um my creation uh the main emotion i was experiencing uh while doing this was the emotion of uncertainty um or doubt and then maybe if I dig deeper fear. So um, 
it definitely helps with um, releasing those negative emotions. Um, but yeah, um, it was, it was, I mean, I enjoyed my time. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing, Samira. Um, and thanks for, for the insight you had. Yeah, the structure, I when I learned about it, that, that changed a lot for me too. Um, we all do these kind of like artistic or even like exercises to release emotion, but the intention, like setting aside the time and the in intention, um, I think it helps a lot. And um, your drawing was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. My painting is not as good as Samira's, but I found myself that I'm kind of repeating a pattern again and again. And I just got tired of that after three, four minutes. So mine is nothing specific, but I found myself I'm just repeating a pattern. And I mean, is this something usual? I mean, I found I found myself that probably it happens in my day-to-day -day life and it just gets me tired and kind of like drop the pen. So... I just want to kind of share my experience and see if, if anyone else has that. I don't know, Arzu, if you have any comments. By the way, thank you so much. Very interesting. Thanks for sharing. And exactly as you said, uh, it can even like feel and see seem different from time to time. So the the fact that you notice that you're doing a pattern, I think that's amazing. Um, I would definitely write about that because I feel like if you feel like that there's something to it, um, I would absolutely dig deeper into that. And it doesn't have to look like anything at all. Like it's it's really just a process. It's it's more of like an unconscious even process to kind of like let the movement process that emotion that that's inside you. Um, so your experience is perfect, uh, whatever it is. Sometimes it might like nothing might even come out. And that's, that's still perfect. That's the experience. Um, thank you so much for sharing, Reza. We are at time, but uh, those who want to stay, we can continue sharing our drawing or continue hanging out as a few weeks before. So um, if you have to go somewhere, please feel free to go. If you would love to stay, we are still going to be hanging. Uh, yeah. If Arzu is going to stay around. I, I would be around. Uh, and thank you so much, everybody for doing this practice. And I encourage you to uh, explore uh, other kinds of um, release techniques different. Um, just tap into different styles at different times and just notice what, what feels right and how you feel after each one. And uh, feel free to reach out to me with any questions at any times. I would be more than happy to connect with all of you. For those who are listening to the recording, see you on the next one but we are continuing to hang out.